What is going on guys? Coach here at the Lions Den locating Comar PA. Those of you that have been asked about the uh, bicep, okay, quick bicep uh, update is we no longer have a brace or a soft cast on. We are floating through time and space, baby. Uh, so honestly, just working on range of motion, there's a lot less pain. I'm able to do a lot more. Really not doing much uh, weight resistance with this uh, arm other than just basic everyday activity type stuff. But in terms of training, uh, the most amount of weight I've had in here is like three pounds. Uh, just kind of doing some basic, like I said, range of motion stuff with it. Uh, but when I do my exercises, I actually like shadow, uh, I guess, exercise with that arm. So if I'm doing dumbbell chest press, I actually will come down, even though this one has a heavy dumbbell, this one doesn't, just to kind of get the body and mind ready for what's to come. Uh, but there's no uh, stitches in there anymore. Um, once these little strips fall off, that they are just off, and then we have the incision, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So. Things are going really well. They told me I would be at 90 degrees until October. Uh, we are a couple weeks into August and pretty much, you know, totally destroying that time frame which they gave me. So, you know, that's kind of a benefit of uh, one, you know, just doing what you can when there's no pain present, which we talk about a lot of our videos. Uh, two, uh, the importance of just strength training, right? Pre-operation and even just pre-pre-operation to strength training in general, okay? You're, you're gonna have a better and faster recovery, in my opinion, when you do those things. Uh, but let's get to the main point of the video here, which is talking about rest time and rest intervals. So I get questions asked all the time, specifically when people are doing my programs, which now I know moving forward, I'm gonna add a rest time kind of uh, chapter in there to kind of explain this to you guys. But people always ask, you know, how long should I rest with strength training, hypertrophy training? you know, doing different sets and reps, right? So I wanna just kinda of cover the basis of that now. And to be honest with you, I always have to disclaim that everybody is gonna be different, okay? So these are just general guidelines uh, that you guys can use and implement, and then when you find out what works best for you, you guys can adapt and implement that in your training. But when it comes to rest intervals, some of the old uh, kind of research, or maybe bro science, used to have that like, you know, 60 to 90 second rule when it came to hypertrophy or bodybuilding exercises to a little bit higher volume. And what the research is showing now, guys, is that it's okay to take anywhere from two to three minutes uh, between your sets for hypertrophy. Uh, and if you guys are training hard enough, you may find that that's probably what you need, okay? So just to kind of debunk that, you know, I just remember when I was growing up and I was strength training, they're always like, you know, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and then go right to your next set. Now, obviously there's different set structures if you're doing like rest pauses, um, where you're doing like myo reps, those are different. So th that's out of the equation. I'm just talking straight sets right now. So you're doing three sets of, let's just say 12 to 15 reps, right, for hypertrophy. It's cool to rest those two and a half to three minutes. I'm probably more in the three minute spectrum now uh, for me to get my rest where it needs to be before I can complete the next set to be as efficient as possible. All right, so that just goes to show you guys that it's okay to rest longer. Now, when it comes to strength training, okay, so we're gonna be in that lower end of the rep range here, anywhere from three to six reps, probably. We're gonna have that intensity a little bit higher, moving a heavier uh, weight, higher load, okay? Sometimes we can rest uh, from three to five minutes. Sometimes people are even going six minutes. And, and when it comes to specific athletes, I know athletes that rest even longer, but general guideline, I think three minutes is probably the minimum you should be resting when it comes to strength and anywhere in that five to maybe six uh, minute range. And we'll get Coach Matt's take on this because him and I, I think we're a little bit on the different end of the spectrum time frame. He's in the longer end, I was on the shorter end, but obviously the more I've learned and better I've gotten with this stuff, I rest a little bit longer. So we'll get his take on that in a moment. But basically that's where I would say you wanna be. Kind of lower end three, max end's gonna be like six, obviously. There are different cases for different folks, uh, but that's kind of where we fall with that. And the other thing you have to remember too, if you are competing in strongman or powerlifting, you need to be able to understand that you're probably gonna have prolonged rest periods. Uh, so that's gonna be a whole different protocol, which you need to adapt to when it comes to specificity to competition. Uh, but if you're in the gym, three to six minute strength session is gonna be awesome. Uh, and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover kind of the checklist that I go through in my head of, you know, when am I gonna be ready to hit that next set? Now the first one comes to just overall uh, being out of breath, 
okay? So if I just got done my set of 15 reps and I can't talk to Coach Matt when he asks me a question, I'm huffing and puffing, you know, I'm sitting there contemplating my life and existence, it's probably not a wise move for me to go right into that next set, nor is it gonna deliver the stimulus needed uh, for me to get that adaptation I'm looking for for gains, okay? So you should make sure that your heart rate comes down. You can wear a heart rate monitor and you can kind of see, like I use uh, my Apple Watch, and okay, like it's come down significantly. I'm good, I can hold a conversation, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's get off the next set. The second thing I look for is mentally, like am I there, okay? And you guys know, like if you just got messed up um, from a set, you know, you're mentally kind of distraught. You gotta get your thoughts together, collect yourself, uh, and be able to focus on the session. So if you can't actually focus on what you're trying to do, create that mind-muscle connection, be able to push as hard as you can, uh, you may not calculate your RPE or however you're, you're calculating your fatigue properly, okay? You may think that you hit the reps you needed to, but if you're mentally a little bit more into it, you probably could have squeezed out two or three more reps which is going to be better overall for the stimulus we're trying to do. So that's my second one, be mentally prepared. Now, when it comes to uh, hypertrophy, the last thing I like to think of is, can I at least get five to six reps uh, of the work I'm trying to do? And that's something I remember when I was training with Dr. Mike, he kind of told me uh, to think about, like if I can't get five or six reps, um, I'm not recovered enough. Okay, so when that's specifically more for hypertrophy, strength's a little bit different, uh, but we wanna make sure that we can actually put the amount of work in necessary to get the result that we're looking for. So that's kinda like a quick checklist that I go through, just a couple really basic things uh, that you guys you know, can follow. We'll put the text you know, right here as I'm talking of kind of that criteria and checklist to go through. Uh, but if you guys are well rested, your heart rate's at a normal pace, Mentally, you're there, and you can at least get five to six reps when it comes to hypertrophy training. Uh, you guys are good to go, okay? And we wanna make sure on the last one, okay, I'll have like a fourth bonus one, is that we're not too cold, all right? So if we rest too long, you know, that's just like when the body starts getting cool, we kinda have to do a little bit extra work to get it back to where we need to be. So you'll know if you're there, because things just won't feel right. Uh, so make sure that you don't get to the point where you need to kinda rewarm yourself up to get back into that session. So that's my take on rest times. I'm gonna ask Coach Matt if he has anything else to add to that. And we kind of have our little checklist there. Uh, so you guys can implement that in your training and, and see if it works for you. Now let's get over to Coach Matt. Lee, can you give us a tip on rest periods? Huh? How long do you rest? You rest a long time. Oh, he's already resting. Look at that, perfect. Zeke will rest all day if he could. He's very... Uh, very anabolic with his rest to work ratio. All right, so not sure I'm gonna follow this up because I think Coach Show just followed absolutely everything there is to do with rest times. Um, and I'd give the same recommendations for strength stuff around three to five minutes, uh, and even the same for hypertrophy around those two to three minutes. Now, if you are in a rush and you guys do want to speed this stuff up, you definitely can. I think people sometimes get these rest times given to them. They're like, oh crap, I'm stuck in the gym for two two and a half hours, no. If you're strapped for time, you can either start supersetting things where your rest time from one exercise is now helping you out with another exercise. You say I'm going from squat right into a bench press. Technically speaking, while I'm squatting, I'm kind of resting my muscles for the bench press. You can utilize stuff like that. You can bring it down to two minutes if you've only got an hour. You can bring it down to 90 seconds if you've only got an hour. So people are always worried about these kind of peak performance times. Um, your body will get really, really good at shorter rest periods. That's actually what I've been kind of doing now with my training up to the Ironman, um, is taking about two to three minutes of rest time, even for my heavier compound movements. Um, just get myself to be kind of on the ball in terms of performing at a higher level while not giving my body as much time to rest. So don't think that you're stuck with these times. You can speed your workouts up. But if you're looking for like those optimal, optimal gains, then yes, three to five minutes for your strength uh, sets and then two to three minutes for, for hypertrophy sets. Also, if you don't like having a watch, you do get good at kind of feeling when your body is ready for those next sets. Um, so maybe you don't like staring down at your phone all the time. You're gonna kind of know when you're ready for that next strength set. Uh, and you're gonna kind of know when you're ready for that next hypertrophy set, the more you kind of train these movements. So that's all I'll add. You know how to close out that? 
Do I know how to close it out? <laughs> yeah. uh, crap, what's the outro? What's the outro? <laughs> oh, stay lean, mean strength gene. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Look at that. You're <laughs> a champ, bro. <laughs>